what is going on guys it is junk back for another video today we are checking out the bitcoin charts a lot to go over here uh, we did have cpi data today well it did come in lower like expected it did not come in as low as expected if that makes sense so kind of showing a little bit of softening in uh, the approach to inflation not just getting the hard bump down like it's been going we wanted to get down to that two to three percent we seem to be stuck right now with what we've been doing to make those numbers lower uh right about the four or excuse me the five to six percent so just kind of holding right there uh, if we don't continue to have that bullish sentiment in the market that what we are doing to fix inflation is working pricing will correct uh, i am currently not in any positions uh, i don't trade cpi data days markets just do silly things and for example this four hour wick is when the numbers came out or within when the numbers came out and top to bottom there is a full four percent swing on bitcoin 10 15 percent on many altcoins and um it just looks you out all over the place if you're playing futures so did not trade today or did not trade cpi i did take a couple trades later but now we finally got some formations but we don't um, have the confirmations we want yet for what direction we're going into. Uh, just real quick, while we're looking at numbers, uh, Elon Musk did tweet out about Floki Inu. Uh, he responded to a tweet somewhere here from... Was it this guy here? I think that's just a response. Uh, anyways, this is the Floki Inu guy, right? So Floki Inu is now up <laughs> higher than 25%, 28% right now at the top of that wick. It is pumping hard. Those can probably be seen on one-minute candles. Yep, so about 15, 20 minutes there, it's up 25%, 30%. Pretty insane. Uh, but hopping over to Bitcoin here. Here's the structures I'm looking at. I'm going to zoom in here real quick to just show you the first one. So we do have this larger triangle here. So this asymmetric triangle is the first one I'm looking at. A measured move coming on this guy from the top of the action to the bottom here and then out the other side. Uh, it's really going to pump us right back up to resistance up here at that 22,832. So I may be looking for a short there. I do not have any shorts pumped into the limit orders right now. I'm looking for confirmation uh, as things I uh, don't have the confluence I'd like to see um, to hop into a trade. So let's just pull a short here so I know what I'm looking at. So shorting this 100. So somewhere right in here. I'm just going to drop that in for now. Uh, no idea. We'll short that back down to the POC or the value where you high. Um, if we can do something like this, actually, if we pull... I already pulled the range here. So here's the full range, the local range, if you guys want to see how to do that. Uh, obviously, we have the VPBR over here as we adjust that, but I do want to just see fixed range volume of the candles we're working in right here. And we have the... So here's your point of... Uh, excuse me, there's your value right high. Here's your point of control, and here's your value right low. So I'm okay with attempting... Uh, a potential bounce off the value very high into the point of control. And what liquidity do you think we should come down and get? Here's the question. How far will those wicks come? So I kind of like this point right here. So right there. And, you know, stop loss. We can drag that down all the way down to the P bottom of the larger range POC. Uh, not just that local range. So a full... 0.68 that's not bad you could take that down even lower if you want technically if you want to not you know get worked out of any of this stuff you know 1.67 it's kind of steep for me i mean i might keep it right there and then maybe not worry about this one but if we come down and test that range right you know it's going to look more like this so we come down and test the value very low of this current range uh, you'll be closer down here than that 21.5 again so I'm just not sure what I want to see. Uh, if we do zoom in, whoops, bump the intro button there, guys. Sorry about that. So price action coming down. 
you know, we're going to test that POC. We're probably going to get bounced there regardless. And then if we can get our bullish confirmations on the lower time frames, so we would be looking down on the 7 minute, the 12 minute, the 24 minute for some bullish divergence. So coming down green dot, red dot, green dot, red dot, green dot, red dot. That's the kind of bullish divergence we want to see. And I want to see that typically the 7, the 12, the 24 um, starting to confirm for confluence moving out of those ranges. Okay. I'm just not sure where it's going to end up yet. It could just rocket from here. <laughs> I don't think it's going to, but stranger things have happened, okay? Now, we did have this uh, quite a bit of a pumpy day. We are back above some critical support levels, which is nice, uh, but we still find ourselves in resistance, right? So here's our sloping resistance right up here, and here's our sloping support. Uh, if we do zoom out, you can now consider this a falling wedge. All right, so if we do lose this support, we just can't hold this range. We're coming down to this valuary low and then probably coming down here to retest this sloping trend line. And then I would expect a bounce up to retest that valuary low. So valuary low here at 21,400, a sloping resistance here at about 21,000 even. And that's in confluence with these levels right here. And let's go back to the four hours so we can check the higher time frames on that. So we have those touches here. We have the touches here. Almost close there. But I'm liking, you know, even that double bottom play is not bad. I think really this might be the play. So if we don't hold this here, I'm looking to hold this here. If we don't hold that, I mean, I'm looking to come down here. You know, every one of these ranges, as we come back and tap into these resistances, I'll be looking for confirmations of shorts again. But things are just getting a little crazy right now. So I'm going to show you why my I'm just kind of all over the place here. So we have that smaller structure that's bullish. We have this overarching structure that's bearish. But here's why. So the four-hour chart here, we have a bearish death cross. So you have the 100, or excuse me, that's the 200 moving up, the 50 moving down. That is a death cross. So what happens when you have a death cross? This 50 EMA band typically just drags the price down as it falls before it finds some kind of support and bounces out. Uh, in, in the contrast with that, we did have the death cross on the weekly of the 50 and the 100, and we now have that on the 50 and the 200. So the same kind of thing still applies. That 50 EMA band, as that comes down on the weekly, it's just going to drag price action down with it. So not in confluence of this is the one day. Where we had this bullish cross. So this golden cross twice now. So we had the 50 cross the 100 and we had the 50 now cross the 200. And you can see how it's scooped on the daily at the bottom of the market here, right? So down here at that 16.7, once we tested that daily and broke out of it, we just ripped through the rest of this stuff, okay? So now I'm hoping we start to find either some support with the 50 coming up. So this drags up and drags price action up. But here's where that weekly is dragging price action down. So this is really why, why I like this level right here, this 21,000 level down to the daily support of about 20,700 because that is where these uh, the weekly uh, 50 coming down and the daily 50 coming up all intersect. So somebody's going to win the battle if we get down to this level right here and either the market's going to be broken or we're going to have continuation to the upside. So until we start seeing some confluence on some lower time frames, it is still going to be quite a bit of chop. It doesn't mean we can't trade the ranges. Uh, I do like the way the one hour looks right now. So the one hour, again, is in confluence with the daily. So we have this bullish cross on the one hour. So 50 and the 100 just cra crossed. So typically price action is going to come up. Or excuse me, the EMA band is going to come up and price action is going to come down and dump into it for support. And that's why I like the long right here as well. 
So more confluence of that one hour long is going to end up on this POC right here from the local range and bouncing at least to the top of this resistance and then potentially out of the range, right? So now we need this 50 on the hour chart to cross the 100. So the 100 right now is dragging price action down on the hour chart, dragging price action down. And then where the 100 and the 50 meet, you know, that's where we're going to start to see some more bullish action on the lower time frames here. If they can cross back up towards the golden cross, we keep moving. So until at least this hourly one either rejects or crosses, typically when they are moving up like this, you're not going to get a rejection. Uh, the momentum has already been set in its ways and it's going to cross. Okay. So now that I'm looking at it here, we kind of have this cup and handle forming on the one hour. So maybe we bounce this range all the way back down to that 21.8 area. And we get this cup. We get the handle. And then we get the measured move of the structure here. So that bounce out of this range right here is going to take us up towards the top of the resistance. Now that was pretty crudely drawn. So if you want to cheat that up a little bit to the resistance, I don't have a problem with that. Um, but we should be right about there at that 22.8, 227 number. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to leave you with tonight. Those are the levels I'm watching. Longs, shorts, looking for confirmation. Uh, the one I like the most right now is this cup and handle theory at about 21,800. Um, you know, down to that 21,7, 21,650 area. Looking for those bullish confirmations out. I think we're pretty good for the evening here. I think the New York Open is probably going to make the determination of what's going to be the next move. So I'm going to get a good night's sleep. I'm going to be up about 6.30 EST in the morning taking a peek at the charts. And then um, we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you did make it this far into the video, we are doing all of our trading on MXC Global. If you do want to judge my TA here against your own and take some plays of your own, go ahead and follow the link in the description for MXC Global. Just takes an email address to sign up and moving over your favorite stable coins to trade. Also, don't forget to hop in Discord. Link is down there as well, and we will catch you tomorrow, guys. <laughs>